angry guy here, and beautiful women are running away from feminism. Should I give you guys the long intro or the short intro today? You know what? You're going to get the short intro. You don't deserve the long intro. Alrighty, so beautiful women are running away from feminism. Here we have a channel called by Billy Ray Brad, and sh you know it's dating men's wellness, positive ma masculinity, and I think this is a, that's actually a bit of a joke because positive masculinity, all masculinity is positive. There's no such thing as negative or toxic masculinity, but here on her channel, she has videos that are full. That this is like a lot of these women are now rushing into the manosphere. My voice probably sounds a bit tired, doesn't it? Social media destroys men. I worked at a prison. I did a video about this one. Only successful men do this. Should women submit to men? Finally, a woman who gets it. Feminism and femininity cannot coexist. So let's 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 watch some of these videos, right? Let's check this one out. Feminism and femininity cannot coexist because they represent two complete opposites. Feminism is competitive, ruthless, anti-family, and anti-man. Femininity is supportive, warm, pro-family, and pro-man. So what's it going to be, ladies? Because you can't have your cake and eat it too. Feminism? Now, it's very interesting because a lot of these same women years ago, they were pro-feminism, and now they're anti-feminism suddenly. What is it? It's because it was writing on the wall. All right. Come 20, 30, 45, 45 percent of all women between the ages of 25 and 44 will be single. That was actually a figure, by the way, that was calculated prior to the pandemic. This is something that we knew back in 2019 based on trends from 2019. This is not something that's recent. All right. That figure so should telling us that 45 percent of women between the ages of 25 and 44 are going to be single come 2030. That was before the pandemic, based on trends before the pandemic. That is not factoring in how the world has changed since the pandemic. Okay, since the pandemic, even more people are not are saying, you know what, I'm not having kids anymore. All right, especially with remote work and all this other shit. Even more people have decided to completely get rid of the very notion of having children okay and things have only gotten worse since the since since the pandemic post pandemic the world is even more divided even more divided you've got to be fucking kidding me so it's really going to be maybe 50 or even 55 percent by this point but we don't know until a new study is done and it's it's actually it's absolutely insane it's absolutely insane. I said this years ago that women are going to say, feminism got us everything that we wanted. Now let's fight it together. Let's check out this one. Should women submit to men? We talked about submission. I think a lot of women view that word as an icky term. What do you think about it? I think it's great. Why? I've never felt more secure in my life. and feel like submitting to your boyfriend helps you feel that security? Yeah, it also makes me feel very feminine. I've never been so in touch with my femininity. Um, I think I used to have to be... I think when you're on your own, it kind of makes you like an alpha female sometimes. Like, I don't need no man, but I think every woman needs a man. Mm. Let's go. Yeah, yes. why, why do you feel like submission helps you feel more feminine? I know that if my finances crashed tomorrow, the house is under control. Everything's stable. Mm. I know a lot of guys who are... We talked about submission. Guys, she brings it. She says something very, very important. She knows if I know if my finances crash tomorrow, that... Let's, 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 and let's, I know a lot of guys who are very. You talked about submission. I think a lot of women. Let's try to get back there. Word is. We'll try to get back there because I want to. She was saying something very vital about her fight ass, and she knows that if her fight ass is crashed tomorrow, tomorrow, the house is under control. But let's let's listen to that. An icky term. What do you think about it? I think it's great. Why? I've never felt more secure in my life, and feel like submitting to your boyfriend helps you feel that security. Yeah, it also makes me feel very feminine. I've never been so in touch with my femininity. Um, I think I used to have to be. I think when you're on your own, it kind of makes you like an alpha female sometimes. Like I don't need no man, but I think every woman needs a man. Mm. Let's go. Please. Yeah. Yes. Why? Why do you feel like submission helps you feel more feminine? I know that if my finances crashed tomorrow. The house is under control. Everything's stable. He provides the stability, and I can fall into my feminine side. I can make dinner at night and provide a feminine touch to the household, and focus on being a great mother instead of climbing the corporate ladder. You talked about. There you go. See, you guys. Things are crashing around us. Without strong men, there's no strong society. You know the the, the saying goes. Um, how does the saying go? 
I worked so hard to get rid of the word on from my vocabulary and still use it sometimes. But the way it, the way it, the saying goes is like hard. To, what is it? Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. And weak men create hard times, <laughs> you know. And you know, again, like hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. <laughs> and it's true. It's true. There's no society without men. Without and with, and here's the irony: women cannot survive without men. This whole I'm going to turn to the government and live off the government. Women have always had the support of men, even with the government. All right. They've been, turning. you know, they, 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 they still get assets and resources from men regardless. They basically have been double dipping for decades now, but they're not going to have men anymore to double dip from because men are walking away from society, walking away from Western society, Western women dropping out entirely or just to know, or just doing just enough to survive. Or they're going, or they're leaving the country and going overseas, and you know, living simpler lives overseas, and or finding themselves a woman overseas that has traditional values and starting a family over there, and they're not coming back. And this, you know, this is she seems like a nice young lady, but at the same time, she was probably one of those women who had, you know, that she had her battle with her bouts of feminism, and now she's realizing, you know, shit's not shit's not turning out so well. All the Plan B guys are walking away. All the Plan B guys are like, "Yeah, fuck this shit. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put up with this." You see, when you, when a woman has a man, and she knows that this man is holding everything down, so there's a roof over her head, even her, even if her finances collapse. Because this is what happens with a lot of women; they still can go out and they can still have their own job and have any and have extra money for themselves. But knowing that you can always come home and there is a roof over your head, okay. Even if your finances collapse, there's a roof over your head, so you're not going to be homeless. Okay, you don't have to pay. Food will always be there. All you have to do is cook it. All you have to do is cook it. So there will always be food. All right, there you will always have a roof over your head. There will always be food there. The the electric the the bills will always be taken care of, so you don't have to worry about electricity. Don't have to worry about water. Okay. You have all the electronics you need. You have your laptop and all your other shit. All right? Everything is taken care of. You have your iPhone. You have your Apple Watch. Okay? Even if you, even, even if everything falls apart in her life, she still has that foundation. And that, that man is still providing that foundation. What does she have to do? All, the, all, the, all she has to do is cook. And, she, and most women would cook for themselves anyway. Cook, keep the house clean, right? And if they have children, take care of the kids. And she doesn't have to worry about anything else. And her husband will take care of her and watch out for her needs. And, it's, and she knows that she will always have that. Most women don't have that today. Okay? But the government, they'll give you just enough to survive, but not enough to thrive. And here's the irony. Here's the irony about this. I want you all to understand that with a lot of these women, a lot of these women who are getting these benefits, a lot of these women are women with children. A lot of the women who get into same places like Section 8 and stuff like that, a lot of those women are women with children. All right? Not all of them, but a lot of them are women with children. When you're a single, able-bodied woman, they will still scrutinize you at times. It's easier for a single-bodied, able, for a single-bodied, a single able-bodied woman to get assistance than men, than men. But you'll still get scrutinized a lot of time, a lot of the times. There are a lot of homeless women out there still. All right? A lot of women who were very good looking and they fell on hard times. Okay? Cuz in America, you women use children as a means of survival. Oh, I've got babies. So you need to give me immediate food and shelter. But if you're out there on your own, it becomes harder. Yes, it's easier for you to get help than a man, but there's a lot of homeless women out there. And women will find themselves with nothing. Try and try to and like try to get something out of the government is like trying to like squeeze like a I don't know, like trying to squeeze like a baseball through a straw. You know, it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's not gonna happen. 
you know, because the government is just that tight. It's a it's a horrible way of living. And women today are heading towards that, speeding towards it, where they no longer have that foundation. And men don't want to have anything to do with them anymore. They don't want to help them. They don't want to take care of them. They don't want to speak to them here in the West. And you can't blame men because look at how feminism has behaved. Look at how fe look at what feminism has done. Okay? It's taught men that women cannot be trusted. I mean, women have basically broke the... They broke the unspoken rules between men and women. Let's check this out. Social media destroys men. Let's see what she says on this one. Social media is out to destroy men. It's no secret that men are visual creatures. And honestly, I see no problem with that. But the algorithms exploit this as a weakness to keep you on their platforms as long as possible. By only filling in your following tab with IG models, you're feeding into the exact exact system that's making men weak today. My guys, there's nothing wrong with having primal physical attraction to women, but use that primal desire to attract real girls in real life, to become the man that won't accept a girl at face value, and the man that women need to better themselves for. You have the ability to change your own algorithm, so engage with content that will actually serve you, because at the end of the day, your presence on this earth is to fuel the betterment of society. Your presence on this earth is to fuel the betterment of society. There is no society. She's one of the wise ones. I told you guys. She, I told y'all. Without men, there's no society. There are no opportunities for women. There are no jobs for women. There's nothing. When Ukraine fell, they they banned all the men from 18 and older from leaving the country because if the men left the country, that's it. Russia takes it. Russia takes the country. That's it. When the men leave, that's the end of the country. You have no more country. Okay? Women say they hold up half the sky, but then when, sh when shit gets tough, they run away. All right? They run away. It's it, Men are the foundation. Men hold up everything. We carry the weight of the world on our backs, and we say nothing about it. All right? Social media, I've talked about this. Social media is absolute garbage, especially the sites like Instagram. I mean, the world around us is trash. When we were kids... You never could see, like, you know, you would never see, like, a naked woman. You would never see that shit. Like, you'd have to see, like, a playboy. And even then, you'd have, it'd be hard to get your hands on that. Before the days of the internet, get the fuck out of here. And then, it's, it, I mean, it got even worse. Because even when, even when I was growing up, and you still had that type of shit out there, you didn't have social media. So, you'd have to go looking for that on the internet. Nowadays, you go on Instagram, it's everywhere. It's basically softcore porn everywhere and these girls are basically just trying to get you to go to their only fads all right or sell you something it's absolutely a fucking joke but that's what the world has become i escaped cockroaches let's let's, let's see what she has to say here I hate to be this person, but here's the moment that I realized I had escaped the Matrix. So I went to a Taylor Swift concert last week. I accidentally got front row tickets. It's a very long story, don't ask. Anyway, after three hours of ear-piercing shrieks from a crowd of 70,000 women, it concludes with fireworks and confetti. Typical, right? Wrong. The lights turn on, people start gathering their belongings, and I expect to slowly file out of the stadium. Except we aren't freaking moving. Turns out, there's a sea of girls, reminiscent of cockroaches, blocking the aisles on their hands and knees, <laughs> shoveling confetti into their bags. You would have thought they were just Jesus Benjamins Christ. falling from the sky. So say it with me. N-P-C. I hate to be this person, but here's the moment. Shoveling confetti into their purse. Oh my gosh. You know what's fucked up? Some of that confetti is probably going to end up on eBay. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Let's check out some more of these. These are, these are like Let's, these, are, these are like little bite pieces. Men are scared of women. So, so I overheard a conversation last night. It was a group of four girls at dinner. And one girl was telling her friends about her new fling. She described it as a casual hookup type thing. But claimed he was super respectful. Despite not wanting to commit. Her friend then asked why he was so scared to commit. And this was the moment that I had to physically restrain myself. Here's a shocker girls. Men aren't scared of you. This guy's basically at an all you can eat buffet. Minus the fee. He has it made. If you want him to look at you as girlfriend material. Start carrying yourself as that. Because hookups won't make them love you. So. 
Here's the thing about that. You also have to think about the kind of guys that she's hooking up with. Because she may be hooking up with a guy that's completely out of her standard. Usually when a woman is hooking up with a plan... Usually women don't hook up with plan B guys. They hook up with guy with Chads and Tyrones. They hook up with the guys they feel that are out of their league and they need to give it up to as quickly as possible so they can try to hook them that way or they're just covered in lust. You know, it's it's that's really how it is. If it's a plan B guy, like if it was a doctor or a lawyer, they're gonna hook up right away. You're gonna keep up waiting because really they're trying to hook him. Let me see here. Low T epidemic is here. Male role models. Here's the real truth. Men mature slower, masculine. Uh please break with me. Stop rewriting history. I'm trying to look for some of these. Feminist goes on the cover for my guys unboxing. Okay. For bathroom essentials, all men need the hell. Do boss babes need men? Okay, let's check that out. I don't need no man, says the ceiling fans women. But here's the problem. Just because you're racking in money from the comfort of your own home still doesn't mean that you don't need a man. May I present to you Tim Skokley, the founder of the platform that you're leveraging. This man is taking a cut of your money and is worth $120 million because of your boss babe ventures. Basically, Tim is the, and you're the, are you still feeling empowered? Oh, and let's not forget the subscribers. Chances are if you're a female creator, that what you even call them? You're likely to have a majority male following. Without them, what even are you? I mean, I could also get into the logistics of who invented the camera you're using, the software, etc. But I'll spare you that and let you get back to your empowered ways. What does a girl really mean when she says she wants a masculine man? Well, here's four things. She wants you to be chivalrous. No, guys, chivalry isn't dead. It's just been sleeping for a little bit. A woman will. Don't listen to this woman, all right? Listen, chivalry is only for a woman from is only for a Filipina or a Latina. You don't do this for these you don't do this for these hoes, all right? You don't treat listen to me. One, don't feed them. Don't do not feed a hoe. Don't feed a hoe. These 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 women are don't feed them, all right? Don't feed them, don't feed the dudes. Don't feed these women, all right? Don't give them money, don't give them food. That's for that's the that, that's for ladies, like Filipinas, all right? You take a, you, you treat a Philip you treat a Filipina right because a Filipina is a lady. An American woman, that's not a lady, that's a hoe. That's 304. That's a jump off, all right? That's what you used to get your nut off. You don't treat these women with respect. You don't treat them like that, all right? You treat them like hoes. You use you use them and you lose them. You use them and you lose them, all right? People fall into her femininity when you embrace your masculinity. So if you want a lady, be a man. Respect, protect, provide, be disciplined, generous. Respect. Listen to me. That's how she makes you a plan B guy, all right? That's how she makes you a plan B guy. Anyway, men need to be done with these American women altogether and go find themselves a, a real lady like a like a Latina, a Filipina, or whatever, some girl from Th or, or a chick from Thailand or Cambodia. Or if you have to have a white girl, get yourself an Eastern European white girl, all right? Because they still have some culture and class over there, but you know, but in America, no, mm -mm. you don't want to touch any of these women. I don't care a fuck if they're black, white, Asian, whatever. What do you guys think about this? Beautiful women are running away from feminism. Did I not say that they were going to say feminism got us everything we wanted? Now let's fight it together. I want to know what you think about this. I'll link you to this chick's channel so that you can go and you can see more of what she's saying. But I, I want to know what you guys think about this. You know, what do you personally think? The fact that so many women are rapidly running away from feminism and now changing their tune. I want to know what you think, guys. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Men walking away and cheers.